so along with the knowledge of shear force what will be the shear stress what is the shear resistance which is provided by the pre stress concrete beam what kind of failure it may provide so bef after knowing all this we also need to know the combined effect of bending moment and torsion along with the shear stress failure so there have been several kind of research work done done on this field there are some theories which have been adopted while designing this shear uh, failure the torsion failure and the bending moment failure at the same time well there are some notions which which we should study before going to the design problem like where research by Warwarook and Rovi said that pre-stress concrete members under common bending moment and torsion exhibits a progressive failure pattern with extensive cracking which indicates that the presence of small bending moment increases the torsional strength of a member while the addition of small torque slightly decreases the moment capacity there are also some another studies like according to this procedure the member is first proportioned for bending moment followed by the superposition of additional wave reinforcement to resist the twisting moment so these are some studies which has already adopted before designing this pre stress concrete beam for shear resistance and the torsional resistance so considering this theories some of the some of them has been selected to be analyzed and to be invade during while solving the problem of the pre stress concrete beam so the theories are the skew bending theory the space truss analogy theory and the compression field theory we i would like to directly get into the problem elaborating these theories through those problem solution task so studying the indian code recommendations the code provisions are based on skewing bending theory so skewing bend indian code has adopted this theory which is most useful for cases where shear is small and the standard flexural failure mode is modified by the presence of torsion so in is code there has they have provided the design norms and equation for the longitudinal reinforcement transverse reinforcement and the distribution of torsion reinforcement let me discuss the longitudinal reinforcement equation where you can see that this equation representing the mc1 equal to m plus mt this is also given in the is code 1343 1980 and the clause where it is provided is clause 22.5 3 in this clause the longitudinal reinforcement for the pre stress concrete beam is provided where this is e m subscript e1 m e1 is representing the ultimate bending moment which is comprised with m plus mt what is m m is the applied ultimate bending moment at the cross section acting in the combination with torsion ultimate torque and mt is this torsion t root over 1 plus 2 capital d by b here capital d is the overall depth of the beam and b is the breadth of the member so with this to to accumulation of this moment 
we are getting the equivalent ultimate bending moment and these are the two corresponding equation while the conditions are if the numerical value of m is less than that of m t, m t the member should also be designed to withstand a moment m e 2 here m e 2 being taken as acting in the opposite sense to the moment so this moment should be adopted in this condition and if this is one case and this is another case where the numerical value of m is less than or equal to the mt the beam is designed to withstand an equivalent transverse bending moment m e 3. So, then this equation should be applied as follows. Now, let us come to the transverse reinforcement in pre-stress beam. Well, transverse reinforcement is very much uh, efficient in order to resist the shear force in the beam. So, these are also mentioned in a IS recommendation and the clause where this transverse reinforcement is provided is 22.5.4. IS 1343 22.5.4. So, here the torsional moment and the shear carried by the concrete, the reduced torsional moment carried by the concrete is represented as TC1. Here TC1 is represented as equal to TC into small e divided by small e plus e. E subscript C where this TC is actually here it will be summation summation of 0.15 B square capital D within bracket 1 minus B by 3 here this will be 3 0 30 B by 30 into lambda P root over F C K here this small e is representing ty by v and this small e c is representing tc by v c. Here what is the difference between t and tc? Well tc is the torsional moment carried by the concrete and t is the torsional moment applied to a cross section under ultimate load condition. What is the difference between V and VC? It is shear, shearing force at the cross sectional cross section calculated for the specified ultimate loads and VC is equal to the theoretical shear strength at cross section. So, as follows all the above expressions description has been given. Uh, so, you can go through the IS code to follow this expression in a larger conceptual explanation. So, here one factor is dependent on another factor. So, you need to look after all the factors comprising this expression for the transverse reinforcement. So, thank you all for watching this video. I will be um, completing the next problem regarding this topic then I think this theory will be quite understandable to know it in a easier way. Thank you everyone.